the president said in, in Tahoe that he had tentatively decided to recommend everyone get the new vaccine. When is he going to decide finally? So as you, I think you've heard from the uh, FDA and CDC, uh, they've made an announcement on the new vaccine. Uh, so certainly uh, they said that they will have an, there'll be an updated vaccine September, mid-September, I believe. So uh, we know that, as you all know, vaccinations against COVID-19 remains the safest protection for avoiding hospitalization, long-term health outcomes and death, which is why we are we are gonna be encouraging uh, Americans to stay up to date on their vaccines. I would refer you to DHS as they have, as you, I just mentioned, FDA and, and CDC uh, mentioned that they'll have uh, the new vaccines by, uh, uh, September, mid-September. Can you say anything about the uptick of COVID cases and new variant? Yes, I can. Matter of fact, I signed off this morning on a proposal we have to present to the Congress a uh, request for additional funding for a new vaccine that is necessary, that works. And tentatively, not decided finally yet, tentatively, it is recommended that, it would likely be recommended that everybody get it matter what they got before. And then as it relates to uh, COVID vaccine funding, the president said that he had signed off on a proposal internally to present Congress with a request for additional funding. Do you have any additional details about the size of that funding request, what it would be used for, and what would the impact be if Congress does not provide that additional funding on uh, Americans and their ability to get that vaccine? So I don't have anything new uh, to say or to add uh, to what the president uh, uh, what the president said at this time. What I can say is that we are prepared for the fall. Uh, as the CDC and uh, FDA mentioned, that we, that we will have vaccines available by mid September. Uh, we are, we believe we are in the strongest position yet uh, to, to fight COVID-19. A lot of that is because of this work that this president has done since day one of his administration. Um, to go back to the president's comments from fri Friday about the COVID funding request, uh, when he said he was asking, or he signed off on a proposal to present to Congress a request for additional funding for a new vaccine, why was that not included in the $40 billion supplemental funding request to Congress that was sent out this month? I just, I don't have anything else to share uh, on the president's comments uh, at this time. So I want to be very clear at that. Uh, uh, just don't have anything else more to add. What I can say is that we are prepared for the fall. We believe that we're prepared for the fall. We believe that we are in a better position than we've ever been to combat COVID-19. Uh, and that's because of the work that the president has done. You heard from FDA, you heard from CDA, uh, CDC, pardon me, who have said that there's going to be a new vaccine that's going to be av available uh, mid-September. And look, because of the work that this administration has done with the leadership of this president, we have been able to put together a comprehensive way to deal with this pandemic, to deal with COVID-19. And we have put forth multiple tools to do that. And the vaccine clearly is one of that. As, as it relates to what the president said, I just don't have anything to add at this time. And on that new vaccine that's gonna be available in mid-September, the CDC data says that only 56 million Americans, 17% of the population received the updated shot last year. What type of public messaging campaign or effort will the administration, the White House be doing starting in mid-September to get people to get that shot, to get more people than last year to get that shot. As you know, Karen, this is an issue that you have followed very closely for the past two years. And you have known that this, this administration, when it comes to informing the American people about these vaccines, about the different tools that this, pres that this president and this administration has put forward, we have really put informing Americans as a priority. And so we'll continue to do that. We know that uh, that uh, COVID-19 vaccinations are the safest to protect, to protection for avoiding hospitalization, long-term health outcomes and death. And that is why we are going to continue to encourage Americans to stay up to date on their vaccines. Uh, and so you'll hear more from us on that. And as you know, that is something when it comes to informing uh, Americans, American families about, uh, this vac about the vaccine, we certainly have been uh, uh, really um, something that we put at the forefront uh, as we move forward with our comprehensive approach to dealing uh, with this pandemic. Um, I would also refer you to the HHS uh, on anything more specifics on, on this new vaccine. Given what you've said so far about the president's um, preparing for, for COVID and being ready for, for any sort of false surge and what the president said today at the middle school, does the uh, administration believe that all of the resources are in place, that they're adequate? Should there be a case uptick that maybe is concerning to some districts and, and they maybe consider whether or not to leave kids in the classroom? So a couple of things. Um, uh, 
So um, I've talked about the historic progress that our administration uh, has made uh, in the ability to, to manage COVID-19 so that it's no longer a meaningful uh, disrupt, disruption to, to, to the way that uh, we move in our day-to-day -day life, right? So that is something that the president has taken uh, seriously. Uh, we, we believe we are in the strongest position yet in the strongest position yet to deal with COVID-19, as I've said multiple times uh, at this uh, at this point, uh, and uh, you know, and any um, anything that we might see in the fall or in the winter, uh, and that's because uh, safe and updated vaccines that will be available in mid-September, uh, widely available at-home COVID tests. Right, I talked about the different tools that this administration has been able to uh, to put forward. Uh, widely available effective treatments which can reduce the risk of severe illness, hospitalization, and death. And we are also going to encourage, we are going to encourage Americans to get their updated COVID-19 vaccine in addition uh, to their annual flu shot. Let's not forget that is important for Americans to get. And an RSV immunization uh, for people over 60 and for infants. That is something that we're going to continue to make very clear to uh, Americans uh, across across the country. As it relates to um, any uptick nationally, while the CDC is reporting an increase in infections and hospital uh, and hospitals, hospital admissions overall remains low. Uh, but again, we believe that we are in a good position and the strongest position that we have been uh, in the past three years or so uh, to deal uh, to deal with uh, COVID-19. Uh, COVID There's going to be an updated uh, vaccine in mid-September. Uh, we're going to continue to encourage Americans to get their updated vaccine, to stay updated on their vaccines more broadly, uh, but also to make sure they get that RSV and also to make sure that they're getting the flu shot. Well, I guess specifically, though, is there a message to school districts as kids are back in school now? And, you know, it's not just COVID. As you mentioned, there are a lot of things that can make kids, yeah. you know, sick no, this I time of year. I mean, that's that's why I mentioned the RSV. That's why I mentioned the flu, right? That the, all of those things are important uh, for Americans to stay updated on. So as kids return to school, to your point, uh, CDC continues to, to recommend that people are up to date, again, on their COVID-19 vaccines. Uh, the agency has also laid out a number of steps uh, people can take to keep themselves and their loved ones safe. Uh, if, they, if folks go to cdc.gov, it's important if, uh, if, uh, if, if Americans or their families across the country have any concerns, any questions, they should go to cdc.gov and they'll lay out ways uh, to protect their loved ones, to protect their kids. Uh, decisions at the, is at the district level, as you all know, when it comes to any decisions on what tools uh, they're going to use, whether it's masking or whatever, however they're going to move forward, that is something that's decided on a local level. But again, the CDC uh, has uh, has has laid out uh, ways for folks to for schools and, and, and families to move forward uh, if they have concerns. But again, we are encouraging. We are going to continue to encourage folks to be updated on their vaccine, the RSV. Let's not forget. Make sure they get that, and also the flu uh, the flu vaccine. All of those things are incredibly important as we head into the fall and winter months uh, to keep uh, to keep our loved ones safe.